Hey guys, I am Trina from Meraki Pottery. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my technique for drawing on mugs and bowls and, and how I do that. Um, so first off, you're going to need um, porcelain. So I buy Kentucky Mudworks White Lightning uh, porcelain. And then you're also going to need a liquid underglaze, um, whatever colour you choose to use, and a liquid applicator. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. This is full of underglaze right now, and then this is a liquid applicator, and it has like a really fine uh, needle point, and you can get these in different sizes. Um, I always get the smallest one because I just like really fine lines. And, um, and I'm going to be showing you guys the process of how I make these. Um, these are the mugs I make, and I draw on them, and you can see like these lines are pretty, pretty small and really fine. Um, so I'm going to show you guys today how to do that. So follow along. So like I said, I use Kentucky Mudworks White Lightning Porcelain. Porcelain can be really difficult to work with. You're going to want to dry it really slow. Um, usually once I finish attaching all my handles, I put them in plastic containers for one to two weeks. And, um, and I'll leave them in there until they are completely bone dry. So once you have a mug that is completely bone dry, you are ready to start drawing. So I fill up my, um, this is a fine line applicator, the 20 gauge. I fill it up with a liquid underglaze. Um, you can buy these really awesome little like baby funnels at Clayking. And um, that kind of makes it a little easier for you to fill them up. But also I fill up the applicator and just start drawing. I usually do a rough sketch and then slowly start to fill in the details. So sometimes the applicator itself can, as you're drawing, either the, the underglaze can dry out a little bit or you can get a little bit of dust particles from the clay in the, um, the fine tip. So the lid is awesome because it has a needle point which will clean it out. So if you're having any issues and you feel like, you know, um, your applicator is getting stuck, sometimes I'll just like squeeze a little out on my thumb and if that doesn't work, I just use the needle point on the lid. I use the X-Acto knife as, it's kind of like my eraser. Sometimes um, my lines will be in the wrong place or just a little too thick. So I'll use the the exacto knife to really just like kind of sharpen some of my edges, erase little nicks um, of the blue, or thin out some of the lines that are too thick, and uh, it really just works really well. And you just kind of lightly scrape, even you're basically scraping the clay off. Um, so I used to draw on bisqueware, but one of the problems I had with that was if I made a mistake, I would erase it with a wet sponge, and then after the second firing. I would see little smudge lines had come up um, and that was just really frustrating because you can't see them until after the second firing. So using the X-Acto knife um, on Greenware has just worked a lot better for me. When it comes to glazing, I've been really happy with Amico Zinc Free Clear. Uh, it's been really consistent, it doesn't run, um, I've just been really impressed with it. it Make sure you get the zinc free because zinc free will ensure that your underglaze color will hold its intensity. Also, when you're applying it, you're only going to want to paintbrush on two coats. If you dip or if you paintbrush on three or more coats, you're going to start to get blurry lines and your, your drawings can just lose that beautiful crispness. Something to keep in mind when you're loading the bisque is that underglaze can transfer, so you actually don't want any of your mugs with underglaze up against anything else in the kiln. Um, if by chance you forget and just say one of your florals transfers to another mug, um, sometimes you can sand it off. Um, however, if, it, if, it's a, if it's touching pretty closely, a lot of times the transfer is so deep that you really can't do much about it, um, but cover it with a glaze. So uh, just be aware of that. And that's really all there is to it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the process and um, I will see you next time.